Hi everyone, this is Nicola from Archangel RC and today I have a little update on the Mini Ranger. Last time I flew it I had the wrong antennas so my tracker wasn't working properly and I had really bad video from anything uh, from 1.5 kilometers onwards. So last weekend I got the right antennas and I went out testing but this time in the city I think with the proper antenna the tracker is working much better now not losing uh, signal and keeps tracking although I was limited uh, by the heavy interference in the city so the Tyrannis was uh, fail safing at about 1.8 kilometers as you will now see but I am very happy with the results also I was testing a new LC filter for the video system so right now I am powering everything from a single back from the flight pack and uh, as you can see there is pretty much no interference uh, coming from the working motor and it's working at a high throttle level at 61 percent uh, don't mind the amp draw uh, at this point I have not yet calibrated properly the uh, current sensor so this one is not showing the correct values I will get to it eventually uh, but you can see 1.7 kilometers and video looks very good even though I'm using the flight pack to power it very ha happy with the results I did find though one issue with the uh, stock ESC since I'm still using that I had to use a bigger battery uh, not in capacity just in uh, physical size for this for these flights and as you can see at some point I got this a sudden drop of throttle down to uh, zero but I'm still trying to pull throttle up but it's actually the ESC is not spinning the motor what what's happened is the battery is big enough to obstruct airflow to the ESC and it's been overheating now true it's a 30 amp ESC and it was drawing around six seven eight amps during this flight but but it was a cold day temperature was around 10 degrees uh, so I had to land the plane uh, gliding although just before I land landed I tried to throttle up and the plane actually the plane actually uh, went forward and the motor started so I knew the ESC didn't burn out um, but apparently it overheats and shuts down the motor completely which is quite alarming because if that had happened at a larger distance from me this would have been a problem uh, true I can uh, take control and you know throttle down throttle up in a bit but still I think I will at this point replace the ESC I will be using a smaller sized pack from now on anyways but still I don't think I'm, I want to trust this ESC that much so I think I will drop in a 40 amp Hobby Wing Pro uh, ESC just to be on the safe side. It's a much better ESC than the stock Volantix one. And if I want to do some longer distance flights, I will need an ESC that I can trust. So that's it for now. You can read all of the details on my blog at arxangelrc.blogspot.com.